Okay, 44, the complement of an angle is 53 degrees. Remember, complement, as you can see here, there's a single P, right? That's not the twice as many as the double P supplement. Complement is only 90 degrees. So if the complement of an angle is 53 degrees, that means that whatever angle we're looking for adds with 53 to get 90. So you can subtract 53 from 90 to find out what it should be. Eight to one, ten minus three is seven, eight minus five is thirty seven, you get thirty seven degrees, and of course that is answer A. Yeah. Number forty five D, F, G, and J, K, L are complementary, not supplementary, complementary, they add to ninety. If the measure of one of the angles is x plus 2, and the measure of the other angle is described as x minus 4. Find the measure of each angle. We can then take those two values and say, we know that x plus 2 added with x minus 4, since they are complementary, they need to add together to be equal to 90. So when we do the math, we combine like terms, 2x, combine like terms, 2 plus negative 4, negative 2 equals 90. Two x equals 92. And then two x divided by two equals 92 divided by two, or x equals 46 degrees. Okay, that's not what the answer is though because they want to know what the angles measure. So we say DEF, measure of angle, I'm sorry, DFG equals X plus two, which is 46 plus two, or 48 degrees. DFG measures 48 degrees. A and B have that answer. And then let's do it for the measure of angle JKL equals X minus 4. And since we know that X is equal to 46, we get then 42 degrees for JKL. And which one has those? both of those answers? That is answer A for number 45. And... Um, we are done with that.